perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is a C shape, and that's that part of the mouth you see. So again, leave room at the top and bottom, and you're gonna do a C. And then you're gonna do a line that goes from one point to the next. And then inside of that, you're gonna kind of zigzag. So you're gonna go up at an angle, stop when you get to that C and come back down. It's almost like a V. Now what we're gonna do is a bump that comes around like this and another bump that's for this part of the head. Okay, and below here we're gonna do the mouth, so we're just gonna have it come in like that. And it should kind of line up with where this piece ended here. Now we're gonna do some kind of line that connects this to this. You can do a wavy, zigzag, any kind of line you want. I'm gonna do a zigzag. This was a wavy line, just so you could see the difference. Now off of this, you're gonna do another line. It could be the same line or different. It's gonna start from the beginning of this line and go down to that line again. This time you will do a wavy. All right, so. I've been making sure to leave room at the top and bottom because I still have to do the body. What you're going to do is come about where that curve of the head is and you're going to do a straight line that goes almost all the way to the end of this long paper. Not all the way, but almost. You're going to do one right at the bottom too that meets on your line that goes just as long as that first line. What we're going to do is a zigzag back and forth across to connect the two. And then above this head, if you have a little room here, you can add some kind of line or decoration. Okay, so now for the eyes, what you're gonna do is any, you know, you can change the eye if you would like, okay? But for my eye, what I'm gonna do is a line or circle, I'm sorry. And inside that circle, I do a V that I fill in. And then I just do like a crease above it. Sometimes people like to add, you know, lashes and things like that. And then for the nose, it's very similar, a crease with a dot. So now in the body, we're gonna do a repeated line combination to show texture. When you repeat lines, it can make something look bumpy, rough, or smooth. Another reason why we're doing that is there's some decorative parts to the Chinese dragon that we're gonna be including. So in mine, I came up with a two line combination um, wiggly line is straight line. If you want to get more detailed in your lines or your patterns that you create, that's fine. Um, you just want some kind of line that you're repeating down the body that goes from the top to bottom. So what I think I'm going to do is some wavy lines. And it does not have to be the same all the way across. You can create different textures but you can't just do one or two lines. You have to do a couple of them. So now that I've gotten a couple of bumpies, and you can see it kind of looks like bumpy skin, maybe I wanna go in and do, I don't know, some zigzags. Okay, so that's it for today. If you wanna add some details, some repeated shapes or textures in the face and or the side parts that we created, then you can do that. Okay, so I like mine. Again, I don't need you to copy mine, okay? Think of a way you can make it yours. Are there different lines or shapes you can repeat over and over to create a texture? Because you can also do it with shapes, not just lines, okay? Um, that's gonna be it. Next time we'll color it.